This installation is somehow a, like a development and uh, a more like a synthesis of the ones we've been built in uh, Bois Boucher. In Bois Boucher, we developed uh, four uh, structures as uh, metaphors of what we learn from the observation of uh, trees. Since the context of Wabouche was uh, so strong and inspiring, we decided that uh, we could learn, uh, we could look at trees and the way they grow and develop to uh, learn some uh, principles that we could apply to rethink modularity. Uh, man is a, human beings are unitary uh, creatures. So they have a soul, a head, uh, they are finished, enclosed and, and, and unitary. And trees are modular because the trees develop to, uh, in a kind of a more unexpected way, uh, unpredictable. They develop according to the weather, climate, uh, wind, uh, etc. And it's not always uh, possible to, when you look at the forest or woods, where a tree ends and another one starts. Very often, especially when you look at things that you supposed to know very well, with different eyes, that you discover things. Uh, you start to look at trees with these uh, principles in mind, or looking for those principles, you realize there are uh, um, variations and very different typology of trees. When we were asked to rethink modularity, we uh, pretty soon realized that uh, um, modularity is not just about uh, repetition of standardized elements. Uh, especially when applied to architecture, we uh, think, we thought or we understood that modularity has a lot to do with the proportion of different scales. If you look at the modularity in a very, uh, let's say, practical way, uh, then I uh, repeated several times also to to the students or to the creators that uh, you can't, it's basically impossible to conceive any archi architecture or construction without modularity, at least in the construction phase, no? to optimize uh, whatever you built uh, for the economical, practical reasons. And when you talk about modularity, then you immediately involve the relationship between different elements, different scales, and also, as well as uh, the, the relationship between uh, human scale and the, 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 spa the, the, the scale of the architecture of the buildings. In that sense, um, what is uh, extremely rich uh, the, uh, lecture, lec lesson you can learn from trees is also this proportional relationship that trees are able to establish between the different parts. In that sense, I think I really uh, can um, agree when someone says that trees are modular, because there is always a geometrical or dimensional or structural relationship between uh, uh, one log and another, or one part of the tree and another. And the amazing thing is that is completely unconscious. So trees develop in a kind of I don't know if modularity is having a comeback or if uh, um, it uh, has been a kind of uh, considered as a kind of uh, simplification of building or designing in the past. Uh, but I think this is also uh, maybe implicit in the nature of the ambition of the exhibition. So when you set the ambition which is rethink the modular, which is almost like uh, rethink language life. or rethink life or rethink culture and um, you sort of uh, naturally start to revise from, from, from scratch uh, the reason behind modularity. You can't uh, look forward, let's say, without uh, re-observe the past. Especially knowing that this, uh, the relationship with the USM and their kind of uh, production, then I, would, I think I would be quite surprised because the uh, result of some of the projects, most of the projects, went really far. You know. In that sense, I think the exhibition is good because it's a sort of um, uh, 
reset, you know, you could reset the discussion from here. Architecture is always the same, no? Or design is always the same. It's never really changed. The tools are changing and the context is changing, but the practice is always uh, functioning according to similar um, thinking and processes. In that sense, I think, w w I think uh, it's literally impossible for me to develop projects without, uh, at a certain point, uh, um, reduce or, re or summarize or con con condense your design into a kind of uh, modular uh, or uh, rational um, and kind of a rigorous uh, constructive system. In that sense, I think in the, in the modularity has never been uh, uh, out, completely out of the uh, practice of building, uh, even when it's hidden. If we talk about uh, modularity as an aesthetic as well, then we can talk about, uh, okay, maybe there is a comeback in modularity or there was a time when modularity was also a kind of expression of a certain way of building, so it was a kind of exposed. But um, if we think about modularity as a, a process of con building and designing, I think has never been, uh, it's basically always been implicit in the, in the practice of designing.